Hi guys, welcome back to the Dubsado Blueprint series. My name is Ray and I am teaching you how to set up Dubsado in an organized fashion. In this video, we are getting into the holy grail of Dubsado, which is workflows. This is the backbone of the software. It's where you combine all your different template elements together and you can add automation to your CRM system. So let me show you what to do. Here's a basic overview on how to assemble your workflows. You'll want to refer back to that process map that I talked about in an earlier video. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'll link to that above. But you will basically write out every step in your process map. So if you have payment schedules attached, to a certain um, process, you can select that payment process here. And to get to this page, you'll go to the left pane as always, and then templates, and then hit workflow. For your first task, you'll want to hit add action, and then you'll choose the action you want to send. So I think for most people, the action you'll want to start with is send email or send form, if you want to send them a welcome packet. So I'm going to hit send form and I'm going to apply it to their client portal as well. You have the option here if you don't want to apply it to their client portal. Uh, and your first action should always start with um, after workflow started. That should always be how your workflow starts. So you can choose the time here if you want it to be done in hours, days, weeks, years. I'm going to send mine immediately. So I'm going to just put zero hours and I'll send them that email with the form attached to it. And I'll hit apply. Then I'll add my next action and I'll just select my action from this drop down box which might be change lead status and I'll change my lead status here to scheduled interview and I'll do that after all previous actions are complete or after one of these actions here so let's just do three days after all previous actions complete and then I'll add another action so You'll want to look at what you can mix and match here. You have all these different actions here, and then you have, you have all these different ones here. So your workflow that you've mapped out might be slightly different. You might need to come up with some workarounds to make it match what your process map has. Um, but you'll want to make sure that you match your actions to your ones. And that's a basic overview of how you set up workflows in Dubsado. You'll want to set up a different workflow for every process that you have. If you are wondering what I'm referring to, I will link to the other video up above that helps you map out your processes. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this to help you set up and master Dubsado so you can use it like a pro. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer. Have fun setting up your workflows.